Yeah, we're he gonna is go in good there. size. You guys did the right thing because so many times people have prejudices against snakes. There she goes. Go on, get out of here. Hey, what's going on guys? I'm pretty excited because uh, the good old reptile rescue vehicle is in use. I'm heading over to Furry Friends Animal Shelter, just right by Bush Wildlife Sanctuary. Here's Bush up here on the left. And they've got an Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake that has been cornered and uh, has been trying to get into their area. So here I am in the, the reptile rescue vehicle. We're gonna go ahead and get this animal out of here and we're gonna put it somewhere where uh, the potential for it working or hooking up with human beings is going to be much less. I think we found them. I think we found the folks looking at the rattlesnake here. How cool is this, man? So uh, animal people helping animals of different kinds. We sincerely thank all of you happy campers out there. Your support makes a real difference in our efforts here at Camp Kennet. This week's special shout out goes to Patreon member, Michael Wilder. Thank you for all you do and for loving reptiles. All right. Travis, how did I know I'd find you here, man? I hate to, I hate to just throw you on camera all the way. Know, you guys right? are on camera now. Oh, hey. How are you? <laughs> You're gonna be my camera person. Where is this little oh, old rattle? Here. Oh, he's over here. He's a big guy? No way. You guys might remember Travis when we got the gator. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at this, everybody. Look at this beautiful Eastern Diamondback, guys. And, and he just doesn't want anything to do with anybody. He's just hanging out here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get this animal just safely removed. And who's from up? Oh, there you go. Good boy. That's what you wanna hear. That's the good thing about rattlesnakes, is they let you know they're there. Not What's Texas that? anymore. Did he rattle the Oh, I yeah. just heard it. Yeah, he just rattled. Not um, Texas anymore, they won't. Oh, they stop rattling. That's yeah. right. They, they, they actually, there have been some rattling. talk of them actually not rattling anymore. But this is a big Eastern Diamondback. So, <clears throat> absolutely. So, he's like, rattling because he feels threatened. Well, he's rattling to let you know he's there. Okay. He's oh, just he trying to let there. you know. He's okay. just trying to let you know that he's there, and I'm a rattlesnake, and I'm dangerous. He doesn't want to bite you. He just wants to be left alone. Because we're bigger, we could step on his head. It could stick. I'm gonna go check this out, buddy. I don't think you've seen the fun no, stuff like, that they I like it, me. man. Looks yeah, nice. Yeah, man. Tacoma Beast and uh, CBI Off-Road Fabrication. They hooked this thing wow. up. Wow. I know. I'm, I am super excited. So. What that is here. sweet. But look at this. I got all my tools and I think we're going to use, I think we're going to go ahead and use the double hook as well as the Midwest Tongs single hook. Yes. Dana from Midwest Tongs uh, sent these tools for me for the build. These guys fabricated these cool holders. So we've got, ah, we got two hooks. We're going to go with two hooks. We got one to kind of coordinate snake and then this double hook which is gonna really help uh, support the weight because it's a bigger snake. Unfortunately, I don't want Dana to get mad at me for Midwest Tongues, but I haven't had a chance to get the bucket. So we're gonna use this old, this thing right here and we're gonna get him out. So I'm really happy you happened along there, buddy. Well, I came over here because I thought they might be looking for a uh, crocodile or <laughs> an alligator of sorts. I will save a reptile from sewers, from cesspools, wherever. <laughs> this is actually one of the easier uh, situations. So what will happen is you guys will start to see what's going to happen is he's not going to be happy. We'll try and be gentle with him. That's what you want to do. Can you tell if it's male by No, it's going to be a little bit oh, difficult yeah. to do that. <laughs> Keep on going. Yeah, We're he is go good ahead. size. The big old boy. Yeah, he is a very is nice boy, size. I don't know. I, I'm not gonna look under the skirt at the moment. <laughs> oh my gosh! And that's that. So there you go. You can kind of see if you want to get a little closer. You can see this is a pretty snake. I like how it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's got the diamond back pattern, then they fade off, so that tail's really pretty. Absolutely um, beautiful. 
but you can look right behind that animal's head and right behind the head you see how it's nice and swollen it's very thick yeah. that's where the venom glands are All right. uh, so this animal's gonna have retractable hypodermic type um, fangs exactly so when they like this so when they open up <laughs> Like this is probably a lot of action these folks have seen here today <laughs> um but hey i want to give the furry friends a shout out because hey! um they do a lot of good work for domestic animals here uh what do you guys do for domestic uh, dogs and cats why don't you give them a quick a quick oh, idea <laughs> furry friends um we rescue cats and dogs kittens and puppies in need of a new home we do a lot of medical treatments heartworm um treatment and so a lot of specialty care but this <laughs> is beyond our capabilities so you guys called bush wildlife and you guys know i do a lot of work with bush but you guys did the right thing because so many times people have prejudices against snakes because they feel that they're scary and dangerous which in some cases like this they can be dangerous uh i always get a little shot of adrenaline i do i was just going to say i always get a little shot of adrenaline because you always have to keep your mind about you that you've got an animal that could potentially uh really injure you so yeah i do i do get i always get like that i always get amped up but um the good thing about these gopros is the gopros have this ad this really smooth uh, function on them so so you guys may not notice now what's in his future where is well gonna we're go? gonna try and i'm gonna try and release this animal i'm gonna try and release this animal someplace that is um close enough the thing is with snakes like this is he probably came in from the back there well, we uh, saw him actually we saw him over the weekend back behind our building over here right see snakes have home ranges so i want to release him someplace where he's not going to come in contact with human beings and this and is a native breed to South this is Florida? a native snake absolutely yeah this is not a, a feral species so if it was feral here you can let him if it was feral then that animal would not be released but this is a native species of rattlesnake and uh, i'm gonna go find a nice spot for him where see that's pretty smart but you notice, I want you guys to listen, you notice this? He has not struck out once. I was just going to ask you, yeah. why is he not striking at you? Well, like, I think he's, con I, he or and it is like confused. you're within striking distance. Well, right? not right now. I'm not like in striking cobra. distance at the moment yeah. really? because this animal hasn't coiled up. But if this animal were coiled up, he'd be able to really get a good, he could, good two thirds of his body length, yeah, he'd be oh, able yeah, to get absolutely. going. But anyhow, uh, really quick guys, we're going to put this down. We're gonna finish this up. Of course, I'm gonna bring you guys out and show you where we release the animal. I wanna find a place that has a water source. Luckily, we're in the wet season, so there's a lot of water around. So this animal, uh, you don't wanna put it someplace where it's not able to get everything it needs. So there's gotta be rabbits and squirrels and there's gotta be water so he can drink. So furry friends, where can they go to, to help out your mission? What, where's your website? What is the website? Furry friends adoption.org okay there you go and then i also want you guys if you go on over there let them know camp kenan sent you and again guys do me a favor go to bushwildlife.org as well uh and help them support uh the mission of saving these animals now here's another thing we got to be careful because when we go ahead and we pick this up this snake could get a fang right through one of those so we want to be pretty careful i got to remember all these uh, exciting details all right cool what's that oh no no no! i think i think we're gonna rope the texan texans are a lot are a lot of fun as you guys remember travis all right guys we're gonna pick this up when i'm releasing the animal in a suitable habitat i don't want to go too far away because i don't want the animal to be completely lost i want to give it a good chance to survive thank you very much ladies and gentlemen i appreciate it go check them out all right Bye. see you later okay uh we're gonna load this sucker up let's do it Let's grab it from here, bud. Go, go all the way from the bottom. Yeah. All right. Just keep it far away. See you later. All right. So, how cool is that, guys? That vehicle, man. We're 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 putting it to use, Trap. I like it. I like it too. All right. Here we go. Let's get the snakey in there. Just slide her on. I have a feeling. Just for some reason, I feel like it might be a female. Either way. I, I thank you for handling Absolutely. the camera as well, buddy. Absolutely. All right, guys, I'm going to strap this animal up so it doesn't move around and we're going to release it. All right, see you guys later. See you in a minute, actually. All 
Okay, we are in a wildlife area. Uh, we've got some pine, which means things are high and dry in this area, but we also have some water so the animal will be able to take a drink. Uh, there's a lot of rabbits, a lot of prey items. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be the best place for us to actually let this animal out. It's away from people and uh, that's important. So let's go ahead and get this little guy released. There you go, she's looking to get out. I don't know why I keep calling her a she, but uh, she just has a pretty look, if you ask me. And again, she has not tried to strike at all. And I love this tongue here, look at that. Beautiful, it supports that nice bulky weight. So let's have a look at her. And she wants nothing to do with me. She wants to just get on out there. And that's what she's doing. Good for her. Go on, sweetheart. Keep going. God, she just disappeared. Oh, there she is. There she is. Look at how that patterning works, guys. Go on, baby. There she goes. Go on, get out of here. Go live free. Woohoo! All right. That just makes me stoked, man. Getting one of these animals safe and sound. Go on, keep going. Whoop. Oh, now she feels safe here. Now she feels safe because she's got cover, so she's gonna get into the defensive position and we'll just go ahead and let her do her thing. What a beautiful animal. And she's using that tongue. You can see how she's flicking. When they get upset, that tongue flicks up and down. See that? Just like that. So she has, that's the definitely the telltale sign of an agitated snake. So she's just gonna lay here, but you can see how beautiful she is. She's just making sure She's picking up any kind of cues as to my whereabouts. And make, it, make no mistake about it, she's locked on to me. Definitely locked on with those pits. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let her go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I also wanna shout out my friends at Tacoma Beast and CBI, you guys rule. Those guys built me a machine that can really, it's really just awesome to see things like this uh, come to fruition. So I'm really pleased. Thanks to those guys, give them a follow. Uh, don't forget to check out Furry Friends and Bush Wildlife. We'll have links in the description. Woo! I love it when I do something good, man. Super stoked. All right, guys, thanks so much. You guys have been really supporting the channel, and I do appreciate it. Thank you for helping me help animals. See you all soon. So long. Hey, I just want to shout out Dana from Midwest Tongs one more time. Thanks so much for this incredible gift. These tools are awesome. And uh, we're really making a difference for some of these animals out here in South Florida. All right, guys. See you soon.